Hello travelers, today I will show you how to craft your own bis gear in Nightingale. Nightingale is a survival open world action RPG from Inflection Games. The title released in early access in February 2024. Let's enjoy this beautiful introduction video before we begin with the topic. As player you are set on a journey of survival and adventure into the mysterious and dangerous Fey realms of Nightingale. Become an interpret realm walker and venture forth alone or with your friends. You will explore, craft, build and fight across a visually stunning Gaslam fantasy world. The game is built in the Unreal Engine and looks stunning, while the performance is great. I am playing on my RTX 4090 and have everything enabled and maxed out in the graphics settings. You can use this guide at every point of the game, but I recommend doing it once you have made it to the watch, the player hub. Since best in slot is dependent on your class and playstyle, I will keep on telling you how to craft the best gear, but in the end you will have to decide how to do it and what materials you prefer. You will need the best possible crafting tables and good materials for your crafts. For this purpose you need some good quality fiber, wood, meat, bones, animal skins and metal. Please tell me in the comments below what materials you are using for your builds and where you can find it. First I will start with the crafts workshop. You will need to build the best tables you can. You will also need the recipe for each craft you want to make. The recipes can be obtained by essence traders in the different worlds. The crafting in Nightingale gives you lots of opportunities to improve the outcome. You will start with basic materials, like mentioned before, and improve the quality by combining those in various ways. Let me show you an example of me crafting some gear. Let's start with the Calcularian boots. We need some leather, straps and buttons for this. Here you can see that I have some good hide from Jana the boss. You can defeat Jana via the gateway and the watch. On the tanning station I am using the hide to craft some leather. You can see the outcome of the product on the right side. The expected results can vary depending on the ingredients you are using. Next I will use the same height to craft some straps for our boots. Here I have some prepared buttons made from pellucidic ingots. 
I am waiting for the leather to be created and you can see there are no stations connected to the tanning station because I just changed its position. All connections were removed. I hope they change this system in the future and make all stations on the player's territory automatically available for connection via checkbox for example. I think this system is not very fun and also I can't arrange the tables the way I want. Finally the craft is finished and we can proceed with building the final product. As you can see the expected results will give us level 99 boots with various attributes coming from the ingredients we were using in the process. For the next step I will need different essences for improving the gear. Let's grab our new boots and head over to the upgrade bench where we will upgrade the gear score. We've managed to get a score of 211 from the initial 99 and the boots reached epic quality now. I am giving the old pair of shoes to my NPC bird to rise his gear score too. On the Enchanter's focus table you can improve the gear score even further and craft different perks for your gear. This is just an easy example of crafting your own biz gear and improving your loadout. The time this video was recorded I was using just medium quality gear. Now I am way above 200 gear score and can obtain much better items in the game. If you want me to show you more details and tips and tricks Please consider giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.